In this video tutorial, we'll show you how to authenticate your signer's identity when conducting transactions online. After adding your documents and recipients to a transaction, you can request that recipients authenticate themselves in order to access the documents to sign. In this example, we'll authenticate David Cobb's identity. In the Recipient section, click the gear icon. A dialog box will appear. Click Authentication. You'll notice that you have three authentication options to choose from, email, SMS, and Q&A. Email authentication is the standard security option used to help verify your recipient's identity. The identity of your intended signer is verified using their secure name and password when logging into their email account. The signer simply clicks the link to access the document they need to sign. SMS authentication allows you to verify your signer's identity by a secure SMS code sent to their mobile phone number. Simply enter your signer's phone number in the field. Your signer will need to enter the code sent to their phone to access the document to sign. Q&A authentication allows you to present personal challenge questions to your signer. These are commonly referred to as shared secrets, since you need to formulate questions based on information you already have on file about your customer. Simply enter the question your signer must answer to access the signing ceremony. After selecting a desired authentication method, add your signature blocks to the document, then click Send to Sign. Ask us about other authentication options, such as knowledge-based authentication. Visit our support center for more video tutorials about one-span sign.